And we're talking to people who are rewriting the rules on parenting, like our next guest, New York Times best-selling author Emily Oster. Business Insider has called the mother of two the most influential parenting expert since Dr. Spock. And her fans include Amy Schumer, Mandy Moore, a professor of economics at Brown University. She's written best-selling books like Expecting Better, Crib Sheet, and The Family Firm, where she applies her economics training to everything from breastfeeding to sleep training in order to help parents make data-driven decisions. I see the Tam fam leaning in. Here we go. <laughs> Time Magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people of 2022. Please welcome Professor Emily Oster to our show. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining I us. I so excited. This is so today. good. Okay, very clearly, you say you are not a parenting coach. Right. What do you call yourself? I'm not sure I would call myself anything. Other Maybe than mom some days. <laughs> data-driven parenting guide. Uh, Help me understand what data-driven data means. So when we say something like parenting coach, right. I think we imply, like, I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to coach you in how to do a particular thing. And the approach that I want to take is to give people the information they need, the tools to make their own best decisions. Right. And to recognize that you can take some data, you can take some information, and then you got to combine it with what works for your family. Okay. It's not going to be the same for everybody. All right, it's not going to be the same. It's no right. one size fits all because it's the data not. means different things. Okay, so you say most parenting decisions shouldn't be thought of as right versus wrong, but parents should weigh the costs versus benefits. And that that will be different for every family. Right. So for some families, the costs of breastfeeding will be different, and so the benefits of breastfeeding will be different. You want to think about what is the value of that to my kid, but how does it fit inside my family values in the way that I'm going to operate my life? Yeah. And because that's different for every family, we can't say, oh, the right thing right. to do is this, the right thing to do is that. So, because you hit a nerve with the breastfeeding dilemma, for example, you know, we know that there's been this push of breastfeeding and the benefits of breastfeeding, but it does not weigh in the socioeconomic yeah. story of so many women who can't can't breastfeed and work full time and get on the subway and go to work and, 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 and. And so there is a debate about who has pushed the breastfeeding storyline. And many believe it is more affluent women at home who have. Yeah, so I think there's two things there. So yeah. one is I spent some time in my books talking about what does the data really say? And you hear, you know, breastfeeding is going to make your kid fly, it's going <laughs> to give them superpowers, it's going to make them a genius. And the data does suggest there are some benefits, but they tend to be smaller. There are early life health benefits. They're not as big as many people claim. So the first thing I do in my work is I try to say, hey, here's what the data really says. Here's what the real benefits are you want to think about. And then I want people to think about how they can make this work for them and in yeah. what way. And I'll tell you, when I thought about writing my second book, Crib Sheet, where I talk yeah. about these issues, one of the big motivations was a, a husband who had written an email to me and said, you know, my wife just had her baby. She really trusts you. She loves your first book about pregnancy. She's killing herself to breastfeed. She's mm. so sad. She feels like she's failing. She's crying all the time. Can you just tell her it's okay to give herself a break? Mm. And I think she'll listen to you. And I thought, you know, I don't want to have the thing to send this guy now, but we need something to send. And I think this is emblematic of a lot of these places where we put so much pressure on women, on families yeah. to do it right and to sort of kill yourself doing it right. And we forget, like, parents are people too. And being a happy parent is really important. It's critical. It's really important for your kids yeah. and for, for you. Yeah. It's important for you. Okay, you're not going anywhere. We're pumped up. <laughs> Professor Oster says the next frontier parenting could be AI. We're going to jump into that. We'll be right back. We're back with our guest, Professor Emily Oster, the New York Times bestselling author and mother of two, whose data-driven approach to parenting has a lot of people talking. One of the things you just recently um, wrote, the Atlantic piece on In the Plague of Secret Parenting, where you found that parents feel the need to hide or minimize the evidence of their children at yeah. the office. So people, when I wrote this piece, you see people saying, I pretend that I have a medical appointment so I can take my kid to an appointment. And, and one of the points I try to make here is that we need to end that. Yeah. We need to make it more visible if we want people to be able to balance a career and a family, which many people are trying to do. Yeah. And that probably the best way is for the people at the top, like you, to 
say I have kids and I'm doing it all together. I'm at the top and, and sometimes is, I lie know. about my business. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your job, Devin. Right. <laughs> I am part of the problem. I, my name is on the door and sometimes I'm like, I have to go out right because there's something for my kid, but I don't want to tell them because I don't want them to think that I'm not keeping my eye on but the ball. You gotta tell you, it's because it is. You're keeping your eye on all the balls. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you're, you got a lot of balls we got in there. <laughs> um, your new book, The Unexpected Navigating Pregnancy During and After Complications, I highly recommend people get the book, but I have to tell you, um, you have the new book coming out. When it yes. comes out, highly recommend you get it. AI and parenting. What does that even mean? We have 30 seconds. Come back and tell us. AI is very scary, yeah. but I think that there are a lot of opportunities here for parents to particularly to engage with the data about the world and to learn things from it. So I think parents yeah. are afraid of this, but they shouldn't be as Please crazy. come back. Yeah. I'd love we to talk, talk more about, about so this. Your new book is coming out. The new book, The Unexpected, Navigating Pregnancy During and After Complications. I'm booking Professor Oscar live on the show right now. Please come back.